Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part four of my tutorial series on how to use seasons. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, today we're going to talk about growing grass, hay, and producing silage in seasons, kind of the changes and what changes with that. Um, if you don't know how to do those things already, you should probably know that before you watch this because this is going to Kind of just add in some information about uh, how to do it on season. So if you don't know how to grow grass, hay, silage, produce all that stuff, you probably should uh, watch a different tutorial on that first. I do have a couple of tutorial videos on those various subjects linked down below. Um, that way, if you know how to do it in the vanilla game or the base game, um, this will actually make sense to you. Otherwise, it may not all make sense to you if you're just trying to jump right into season. So anyhow, without further ado, I do have uh, some different time codes down below um, in the YouTube slide bar so that way you can adjust to wherever you want to go or skip ahead to what you need or what you're looking for if you're looking for a specific question or part of the video. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to talk about a few things and then we're actually going to go ahead and do it. So growing grass, hay, and silage in seasons is a little bit different. So there are three growth stages. Uh, While well, there's planted, which is its own growth stage, um, then there also is kind of a growing stage, which if we actually jump over to, actually it's ready to harvest now, um, but uh, so if you see this right here, we have grass turned on, we're going to go down here and mow down here at some point, but let me see, because I own that, yeah I do, okay, let me go ahead and jump down here so we can go ahead and take a look at it, um, at least the grass that we have down here. So, we have some grass right here, um, it's ready to harvest right now, but if you look at it here, using our MT9, which you talked about, uh, growth is 67%, so it's two thirds growth essentially, or grown. So it has essentially three growth stages. One is at 33%, one's at 67%, and then another's at 100%. You can mow it, it is harvestable at this state it's in right now. So it's the only crop you're gonna see where it's actually gonna have an early harvest state and then a later harvest state where it's more golden. So this is the only crop in seasons that does that. So, um, well, oil seed radish, I guess technically you harvest before, but anyhow, this one, Going off of this, um, it's harvestable right now as it is. Uh, we're gonna wait till it's fully good to go before we do anything with it, but that's just something to note there. Now, as far as mowing it, um, you now have kind of an extra option. It used to be you just, you mow grass, it would be grass, and then if you tetted it, it would be hay. And that was the end of the story. So Seasons adds a little bit more to that. Um, so you have grass or wet grass, and then you have semi-wet grass, and then you have hay, which is essentially dry grass. So when you have, if you mow grass, uh, when the crop, is wet so if like I come into here and if you see this symbol which means the crops are very wet or they're too wet to harvest normally now it's usually above 20% um, it'll show up next there ne up there next to the weather and the temperature up at the very top there so that'll show up if that icons there when you mow grass which you can mow it still um, it will end up being wet grass right now if we mow this it will be semi wet grass or semi dry grass uh, depending on how you want to call it I believe semi dry grass is the proper term but uh, it'll be semi dry grass so um, what does that mean as far as everything goes? Um, well, what that means for you is if you cut it and it's wet grass, um, it's going to need to, if you're trying to make just grass bales to make silage, it doesn't matter if you cut it and it's grass or if it's semi dry grass, it does not matter. But if you're trying to make hay, that's where it gets a little bit more complex. So if you mow it and it's wet grass, you're going to need to tet it. And then when you tet it, it will turn into uh, semi wet grass, or at least it should turn into semi wet grass. Um, for you and then after it's semi wet grass you need to let it dry in the sun So that's where if we go into the seasons menu, which is hit alt s to open where this drying potential means a lot to us So wind speed is going to kind of contribute So we need to look at the weather ahead of time and we need to look for a couple of things one We don't want precipitation when we're trying to make hay because that will kind of reverse the process And I'll explain that a little bit more later. We need this drying potential here So semi wet grass will dry into hay so if you if you mow the grass like we, if we did right now, it's already going to be semi wet grass, which means you don't have to tet it at all. There's no tetting required. You just have to let it dry. If you tet it, it won't do anything. You just have to let it dry in the sun. So that way it will become hay. So there is drying. You have to wait. There's no avoiding it. That just is what it is for seasons. Um, and as you're mowing parts of a field, part of a field, depending on what map you're on, part of it could be too wet or it could the moisture could change as you're halfway through mowing it. So you might be noticing that you're doing wet grass and all of a sudden it's semi-wet grass or vice versa. So just be aware of that. If it changes randomly, that's okay. That does happen. It's not like a glitch or anything like that. I've had that happen tons to me before. So um, now we need to talk about another feature in here. So in, in vanilla game, if you had grass out on a field like this, 
um, it, it didn't matter. You could leave it out there indefinitely. You could harvest again over top of it. It wouldn't matter. It would always be there. It would never go away. But in seasons, they've introduced a rotting function to grass. So if you mow this and it's wet grass, so just grass, um, it will start rotting after the second night. Now it always rots if it rains. So if it's raining, it's going to rot a little bit anyways, but it'll always, if, but it'll start rotting after the second night. Now, if you mow it and it's semi wet grass, it will start rotting if it starts raining. And if you have hay, so that's already dried into hay and you just haven't gotten it off the field yet. Um, if it starts raining, it will go back to either semi-wet grass or wet grass and it will start to rot. It should just go back to semi-wet grass, not wet grass, sorry. But it will start to rot. And the same goes for straw. So if straw is left outside or on a field, it will start to rot. So you need to put it away. Um, in the winter time, if you haven't harvested that, say this is in its second growth state right here. So um, this is uh, essentially... 67% grown. Yeah, let's say this was 100% grown. If it hits winter time and it's 100% grown, it's going to knock the grass back to 67% grown. Now, if we look in the seasons menu over here, you can harvest, uh, let's go down to grass here. You can harvest grass um, into the first stage of winter. So it's just, just know once it hits here, it's going to knock it back and you can plant it throughout the year. You can grow it. You might, I've noticed that I'm usually able to, if I'm able to get a harvest right away, I usually get two cuts or two harvests per year off of a grass field. So Something to note as far as that goes. Planting it, you have 37 degrees here. If we go over to um, here, if we go down to grass, you have the same different stuff going on here as far as frost resistance and drought resistance. Um, so just be aware of that. It's gonna work very similar to crops, which we went over previously. As far as plowing, fertilizing, liming, all that stuff goes. Um, this one actually needs lime and it needs plowing. So that might be a good idea to do that. Um, those will matter. It's the same as base game for plowing and lime. There's still three fertilizer states. So you can have grass fertilized three times. So um, try to fertilize it as much as possible to get it going. Um, so that way you can actually get the full yield off of it. Um, and that's kind of what you want to target with all that stuff. So just be aware of that. You want to try to get that. Um, you shouldn't have any weeds pop up either in grass when you're growing it. I haven't ever experienced any weeds. So just be aware of that. Just a couple things to note on that. Um, now, moving on to bales. So if I have, well, I, I don't even know if I can spawn one in in seasons here. Yeah, okay, I can spawn some stuff in. So if I have, I'll just put a couple bales in here. Um, do hay and then silage. So right here, I can come up using my tool here. It's going to say this is a hay bale, 4,000 liters. What do I have on the bottom? This should be a straw bale. Oh, I did two hay bales. Let me get a straw bale in here as well. Um, let's do straw. There we go. Straw bale over here. Straw, 4,000 liters. Um, this one's going to be grass. Grass, 4,000 liters. And this one's going to be silage. Silage, 4,000 liters. So that is one thing the MT9 can do for you. It can measure what is in a bale. So obviously the hay bale looks very similar to the straw bale, so you might want to do that. Now, as far as rotting goes, we need to talk about this. So grass bales will gradually rot and disappear after two days. So if I bale this grass and leave it out here, after two days, it's going to start to rot, um, and it will rot in the rain. Um, as well and it'll just gradually rot because it's wet over time anyways so just be aware of that uh, silage bales are safe from the weather so if i have a silage bale out here this will never rot um, and let's say this one is already baled good to go now let's say i have grass that i've cut out here and then i bale it into silage or i bale it into grass bales and then i bale it or I, then i wrap it and so it's silage bales it will take one full period or a third of a season to ferment. So it's not gonna be instantly silage like we're used to in base game. You have to wait for it to actually ferment similar to using a bunker silo. Um, now, the time it takes it for it to ferment, um, talking about being a third of a period, it's gonna take one day in this current game, but that's say if I had my season set to um, 12 day seasons and I go back in here, um, it's gonna take four days for it to ferment. So it's gonna take one third. So either either any one of these chunks, it's gonna take uh, for it to fully ferment. And same goes for if you have it in a bunker silo, it takes that same amount of time to ferment. Now I'm gonna bump this back down to three day seasons, but uh, there you go. So just be aware of that. Um, and the MT9, you can come up and if you're not sure if it's fermented, and it will tell you if it's fermented or what progress it is if it's actively fermenting, which this one is not. Uh, so hopefully I can show you that here in a little bit. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. Hay bales, if they're outside in the rain, they will rot. Straw bales, same thing. They will rot if they're outside in the rain. So try to put them under cover so they don't get uh, wet. And that's why kind of talking about the seasons mask is important um, that we talked about in the introduction or the basics, one of the two there. So just be aware of that. Now, if you have a bunker silo and you put chaff in it or you put grass in it, because grass turns into chaff once you put it into a bunker silo, it's safe from the weather. It's not going to rot by sitting out there, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but it's safe from the weather. Um, and then after, again, after you 
you know, compact it and then you cover it, it's gonna take a third of a season to ferment and everything should be safe inside that bunker silo. Now, um, I already talked a little bit about producing hay, so we're gonna go through some examples where if you cut it and it's wet grass, you need to tet it, then it's gonna dry in the sun. If you cut it and it's semi-wet grass, you don't need to tet it, but it still needs to dry in the sun. Um, so just note that. Now, one last thing I wanna mention, if we go into the store here, we go down to loose products down here. Silage is still going to be sold for loose. It'll still accept it. But even if, so if you look here, they're not taking this stuff for any money. That is not something wrong with the map. Every map should default to that. Loose grass, loose hay, and loose straw is not worth anything on seasons. If you sell it at these sell points, they will give you nothing. You have to bail it for it to be worth any money. And that's kind of a little bit frustrating because you're not sure how much it's worth either if it's in the form of a bale. But that's just to note that you cannot sell it unless it is in a bale form. So just be aware of that. Uh, what I recommend doing to see if it's worth it is maybe taking one bale, selling it, and then find out how much you made per thousand liters of it or how much you made per bale, you know, one way or another. But uh, anyhow, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some equipment set up for us and then we're going to go ahead and run through a season of running some hay work out here. All right, so if you see up there next to the temperature and the cloud, there is the icon that it is wet, the grass is wet, or the crops are wet. So we're going to go ahead and unfold this. Now, given it's not fully grown yet, but that's fine. We're just going to go for it on here. Um, it doesn't matter for the tutorial. If you want to get higher yield, that's what matters as far as that goes. Now, since we're doing grass, I'm actually going to put this into swathing mode. Um, we see here, left control Y, swath dropping, perfect. Just because we're going to do some grass bales first. Oh, it just jumped up into the full growth stage, so look at that. But it still should be wet. If I turn this on, you can see I am cutting grass, but it's kind of a that texture right there. So that is wet grass right there that we're getting off of the field. So I come up to here. That's going to be for silage bales. Now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to make widespreading mode here. And then this is going to be for making some hay bales off of this wet grass. So I'm going to lower this down. Here we go. We're getting very wet grass. You can kind of see how it goes. Now, given it's only 5 in the morning here, uh, but it's bright enough because it is uh, summertime in seasons here. I'm just going to do this, and then I'll make one more pass up to the top here. As you can see there, it's all cut down. And grass will regrow as it does in the regular gameplay. It'll regrow next year, so... It's, it's fine. It's a, it'll just kind of go dormant in the winter time. So, Okay, and now we're done with that for now. I'm actually going to leave this guy up here because we might end up... I want to also show what it looks like if it's dry grass when it comes out. So if I fast forward just a little bit of time here, it should dry up since it's nice and summery out here, theoretically speaking. There we go. So the, now you see up there, the symbol has gone away. Um, if I hop out, you can see that Crop moisture is below 20%. So if I turn this on, lower it down, we're gonna get a whole different texture out of the, do you see that, how that looks different? That actually looks kind of more like hay does um, in base game, but there you go. So that's in our texture. So we're gonna take both of these sections here and make them into hay. But let's go and lift that up, turn that off. And we'll move this guy out of the way. I'll hop out of him. So this one here does not need to be tetted. This will become hay just by drying in the sun. And if we go into our menu here, we have really good drying potential through today. So it might even happen by either today or tomorrow. And I don't see any rain until or any precipitation until Thursday. So this should be dry by the end of the day tomorrow. This we need to ted though first. So this needs to be tedded. Um, if we go over to here, um, first off, actually, let's do let's do the silage bales first here. So just to show you kind of what a silage bale looks like when it's fermenting. I'm just going to go ahead and bale this up here. There we go. We're getting grass in there. Should have enough to make a whole bale. And then I'm going to lift the pickup, turn it off. Now it's going to go ahead and wrap that for us. So I'll wait until that gets wrapped. I can't remember if on this one I have to spit it out myself or not, but we'll wait and see here. Wait for it to finish wrapping. There it goes. Yep. I'll hit Y to put it down. There we go. Now it is going to roll a little bit because it wants to drive me crazy. But now you can see here it says 24 hours to go because of how our seasons are set. But that's its fermentation progress. Now, if I go back into the seasons menu here and I switch this up, 
and I go to six day seasons, it should double the time it takes to ferment. So yeah, 48 hours to go. So that's how that's gonna work. There we go, turn that down. So there we go, that's just gonna roll to the bottom. Now we need to get this into hay. So I've already talked about how we need to ted the wand. So actually, let's go grab our tractor here. And we'll go grab our tether so we can ted um, the one section there that needs to be tedded. And then we'll just kind of wait for it to dry is all you really can do. But you'll see kind of the difference and we'll look at what happens if you don't do anything to one. So we'll only, we'll only ted half of it. How about that? Just so we can kind of see the difference. Now, obviously you can windrow it uh, after it's good to go as hay. Um, and I believe actually you can windrow it before. I don't think the mechanic picks up that it's not spread out so it doesn't dry as good. I could be wrong on that, but I haven't I haven't tested it. But go ahead and turn this on, lower this down. So if I tet it, it's going to turn into semi-dry grass. So there you go. It's going to look just like that stuff over there. So I'll just come up to the top here. I'll just do this one row. And then the other stuff will start to rot over time. So that's what's going to start happening after we get a little bit further into it. So... There we go. Lift that up. B to turn that off. And then what I'm going to just do, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to keep an eye on it. Um, so this should start to dry out. So I'm just going to fast forward time. Occasionally I'll stop it because Seasons doesn't necessarily like it if you fast forward time a ton. So occasionally it just needs to kind of be slowed down so it can kind of catch up on its own. So it's slowly going. Drying potential should still be good. We'll check on it here in a second. Obviously it hasn't done anything yet. So this grass should theoretically start rotting, I believe, after I think that was the second night. That so should start to rot off the field. Yep, there it goes. It's gonna synchronize real quick. So that'll happen if you fast forward time to Monch. Um, so if you sleep overnight, it'll do that. Um, let's check out the seasons menu here. Take a look at weather. Uh, weather drying potential still good through Thursday. Do we have precipitation? Not until Friday now, that's good. So we need that for our drying to actually happen. So it's still it's still semi-wet grass. You'll It'll be very obvious once it's hay. So let's go ahead and keep fast forwarding time a little bit here. Probably turn that on so we can see what we're doing a little bit. There we go, right there. So that's where it converted over to hay. And notice this is not hay. So if I slow, yep, it's gonna synchronize. So this is now hay. This has done nothing. This is still just wet grass and it's slowly rotting away. And actually, I, it looks like there's weeds in here. Is there weeds on my on my field here? Go back over to here. No. Oh yeah, there is on the ones that like, that's the ones I cut. So now it's kind of maybe not registering those as a field until I did that, but there you go. So then this here is hay. This here is still just grass. So if I go ahead and grab our tractor again, uh, we'll make a hay bale. And then we will wrap up this since that's most of what I want to show you guys for this. And obviously there'll be more seasons tutorials and all that good stuff, but I just want to demonstrate that both of these are hay. Oh, and you see there, see a lot of the grass just disappeared. That's because it's rotting away. So you can see that's kind of how it's going. This is going to give me hay. So we're doing hay slowly on here. Let me go over here where we got, uh, looks like a little bit more down the center. So this should actually give me a little bit more. That's just the grass growing up. That wasn't anything rotting. The grass went up into another growth stage. But as you can see, I'm getting hay off this field. I don't really need to get a full a full bale or anything like that. But there you go. So that's kind of grass work um, reworked in seasons. If you guys have questions about it, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions. And if I miss something or you know something that I don't, please let me know down in the comments so I can include it in a future video. But anyhow, guys, this has been Farmer Cop. If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.